Just walked up on the car. I'm wiping it down right now. Just the hood. I already did all my wheels and my detail. Turn my app on. So everything's clean. Got the interior cleaned up. Just ready to get my first ride. Let's see what happens. Hopefully I get something pretty quick that's short so I can get this shit over with. I only got six rides, so I need 14 more to go to hit that 90 bucks. I think I could do 14 rides in about five hours, maybe. That's average about three rides an hour. I could knock that out. So what time is it now? It's eight. I could be done by 2 a.m. I could be done because I'm probably going to take me a break, grab me something to eat and shit like that. But yeah, I think 2 a.m. is going to be my cutoff, baby. 2 a.m. Like I said, I start late because I got to go out, you know, get my mind together, swim, clean my house, do my laundry, do all that shit. Uh, I'm just wiping the car down now. Like I said, just a little bit of dust on it here and there. And I'll wipe it down. All right. There she go. She's nice and clean. All right. Oh. All right, here we go. Let's plug this phone in. I'm down to 22%. Let's plug that in. All right, where are we at? Let's go through and find me some good music. Yeah. At the library. Hit my songs. All right. We ready to rock and roll. And that's my first trip with a goddamn stop. Let's do it. Let's see something. If the stop take too long, all I'm going to do is probably just leave. And I'll still get paid for it because all I got to do is pick the person up. So once I pick the person up, hopefully the stop don't take forever. Oh, shit. Let me pull my trash out real quick. No, I'm gonna make it home in time. I'm not worried about it. Like I said, trash day is tomorrow. I see my neighbor's trash is out. I was gonna put my trash out. Nah, I'll do that shit when I get back. I ain't gonna be gone that long. Just till 2 a.m. Let's get it in, baby. Let's do what we do. Already know where we at. We just had a quick stop down the street. Coming down to the dispensary, pick up some product, head back to his house real quick. Dude's cool as hell. He was looking at buying a 745. A BMW 745. So I've been kind of going through the menu options with him on this little 330, showing him how everything worked. Told him the price tag on these is less than 30 in some areas. And he's like, man, I've been sleeping on the three. I'm like, dude, these 330s get it. These little cars are fast as hell. They're real elegant inside. I mean, they're luxury, but they're sport at the same time. Man, it's always police down in here, man. It's like, what the hell? Fire trucks. Somebody must have had an accident. Y'all love, you know, discussing cars with people that like cars. He's already looking at getting a Beamer anyways. So he's like, man, I'm going to have to get a Beamer. I'm like, dude, you might have to get one, brother. You might. 330. That was pretty quick. And the reason why it was so quick is because we get there. He goes into the building. He already made the order already. He gets to the counter. He looks in his wallet. The card is gone. His girl and him, they swapped cards or something weird like that. So he didn't have the card. So he came back. I said, man, just take me back home, man. I was like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back down there. I got to go get the card from her and go back down there. Crazy shit, man. Stuff like that happens all the time. So it was basically, you know, a trip down there and back for nothing. But, you know, I got it on my log. I just feel bad for people like that. You know what I'm saying? Damn, the airport is dropping fast. It was that tens. Now it's dropping. But, yeah, I feel bad for people like that. You know what I'm saying? They do their best. And then something like that happens, and it's like, damn, they paid for a ride, and I got to pay for another one. I mean, like, I'm in the right lane because I got to turn right. I never ride in the right lane unless I have to make a right turn because all the accidents happen in the right lane. Um, 10 books up there. Yeah, let's take that because that's north of downtown Phoenix. And it ain't shit over here right now. So I'm going to go pick this guy up from LabCorp. This is another one of the little business park things. Go pick him up from LabCorp, take him just north of Phoenix, and I'm going to see if I can get some downtown shit going because hopefully there's no concert going tonight. If there's no concert, this is a perfect ride to get me downtown so I can be down there, you know, doing shit. It's not a bad ride at all. Like I said, 10 bucks for about 13 miles, plus I got the challenge money going to hit because that's $20 or 
I think it's five dollars for each ride I'm getting 20 rides for 90 bucks close to five bucks so I'm getting about close to $15 for 13 miles right now. If he gives me a tip, it makes it even better. But it's not a bad ride for the miles, especially with the challenge hitting. I could do better by taking a shorter trip, but I'm gonna go up here, you know, up to downtown Phoenix and see if I can do a bunch of bar rides. It's Thursday night, hopefully people are leaving dinner downtown, trying to go back to condos and shit like that. I'll do a whole bunch of short rides. Hopefully we can wrap this shit up quick tonight. All right, so now, that was that quick trip. So now I'm up here on this side of town and they tried to send me a, a trip right behind this as I was getting off the highway. 647 for like nine miles total. I was like, I just went 10 miles or 12 miles for y'all. I'm not going more miles. This is as far as it goes, man. This is my area now. They want to get me here then send me somewhere else. It's like, no, motherfucker, that's not how I drive. When I get to an area, that's the area I'm in. Give me short trips. So if you're not sending me to a busy area, that's on you. See shit like that. Ain't no fucking way in hell. No way in hell. Doubt it. Doubt it. I just got to this area and they want to, this is the second ride they're trying to do to send me out here. But that one's 30 something miles for $20. Man, hell no. Nah. I'm cool on that shit. Man, they could have they paid me like, you know what, $40 for that. I would have took it for 40 bucks. But that amount, no. Nah. Fuck no. Nah. Fuck no. Nah swing over here real quick skirt, skirt. they got a circle k right here i'm gonna go chill up here like i said i'm gonna sit at this area right here until my next ride shoots through but like i said i just got here so i'm not leaving here yet Look at that, three miles for that. I could do that. Let's do that, that's a pretty fun trip. See, that's three miles for less than two, I mean, three dollars for less than two miles. And they just gave me one that was like six something for like nine miles. That's what I'm saying, man. You ain't gotta drive a whole lot of miles to make a lot of money in this game. You just gotta know what the fuck you doing. A pretty easy trip right there. Dropped him off, now I'm sitting right behind Jack in the Box. I'm going to park right here. Hopefully, like, right across the street, I got a hospital across the street. So hopefully somebody comes to the hospital or wants to get out of the hospital. And, hey, they got a car sitting right here. As soon as they hit me up, it'll be, like, you know, half a mile or something like that away from me. Pick them up. Take them, like, three, four miles. Let's see what we can do. Or is it I'll just chill here for a minute? They just tried to send me a ride when I was taking Aaron in. He was a cool guy. He's in from Santa Fe. So I'm taking him. And a ride pops up, like nine dollars, fourteen miles, and I'm like, why are they? They do that. They get you to an area, and instead of letting you hang out and chill in that area, they get you ripping and running. So this is what we are gonna do. We gonna we gonna go back through and figure out how to do this filter again. Location filter. Stay within a certain area. I like it. Let's do five mile filter. Let's go set filter. Now we can relax. I keep forgetting about that. And here I am. Like I said, this is the second time me using it. I love it. Second time using it. One tip. Hey, that was up. Five dollar tip. Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate that. That was it. Y'all saw how far I was. I was like right there next to him. So I went across the street, picked him up, took him down the street. Eight dollars for about a mile and a half of driving. That's it. Eight bucks, mile and a half. You don't got to do a whole bunch of miles to make a lot of money out here. I'm telling you, you just got to, you know, make sure you're doing it right. Four minutes. You know, it, and it took me probably about three minutes to get to him. So almost a dollar a minute. You know what? You just got to know how to do this. A lot of people are out here logging a lot of miles for no reason at all. And I got it. Like I said, that's 321. Plus, I got cash tips all week. I just got I got to get that. Ooh, Lyft. Lyft is making $47 on me. Check y'all out. You motherfuckers are making money on me. Now, they might make money on me this week because I haven't had a lot of streaks. Haven't hit a lot of, you know, uh, surges they haven't had a lot but i got that 90 dollars coming up so if i hit that 90 dollars that means they're gonna be in a hole for 43 so they're in a hole for 43 dollars i got how many more rides to go to hit i'm sitting at nine 11 miles so they've got to average at least four dollars profit per ride four dollars pro profit per ride for the next 11 rides just to break even Lyft might make a couple of bucks off of me. 
this week they might make a couple. Cause like I said, if I get a streak or I get a if I get a surge or something like that, then they screw. If I get a surge, they're not breaking even. They're gonna be like negative four dollars or something like that for the week. Cause like I said, when I when it's ninety hits, that means they have yeah it's ninety. Yep, ninety. They've got forty three dollars they've got to make in the next eleven rides profit. If I keep taking these short rides, they might not make that that profit of four dollars per ride. And especially if I end up getting a surge somewhere in the city, if I get a surge, and as you can see, there is no surge nowhere. They ain't got shit out there for me. But if they put something out there, they put a surge out there, they ain't breaking even. They're going to be mad as a motherfucker. They're going to be like, damn, we just can't break even with this dude no matter what. Because right now, they up. They up. $47. They up. But, I don't know. Like I said, they just tried to send me a ride that was, you know, six dollars nine miles. Let's see what this ride is. Yeah, I could do that. That's cool. Let's do that. Like I said, we could do that. I'm I'm down for that. Let's go. Let's go. Mile and a half away up the road. Shit. That's what I'm talking about. If we're gonna make this money, then let's make it the easy way, not the hard way. <laughs> we sit here all day just plucking short rides. That's what I'm talking about. He was pretty dope, you know, he had real good energy. He was spitting nothing but game. He was spitting all game. That was hilarious. He was like, he's a he was like, I could tell you like an OG. He says, I'm gonna tell you like this. He was a white dude, but he was cool. He was actually he was from a place by Port St. Lucie in Florida, by where my son is from, where my son is right now. He was actually from there. Saying he was from some beach. Just like that. I'll take that ride too, baby. We getting there. Like I said, I gotta make this turn, go pick up Kelsey at Swizzle in with the swizzle stick. Yeah, because right now I'm in the wrong lane, so I'm gonna have to get over to the left, because I'm in a straight lane. Get over to the left, go pick up Kels. Let me go over here and pick up KD. I'm, I'm gonna keep this going, because we gotta get this money. We gotta do it. What just dropped off KD? He a cool kid, man. He a, uh, he a TikToker. This motherfucker got like a million likes on TikTok and shit. So I told him we gonna link up, we gonna do some shit, man. He's a cool ass kid. So I was like, all right, bet, bet. He's like, oh man, you got TikTok? Yeah, he says, dude, I got like 25,000 followers, like a million likes. I was like, all right, cool. Let's do it then, man. Let's do something fun. Fuck it. This is Arizona. Oh, I got another tip. Who tipped me? Is that that it right there? That it? That it? All right, two miles. Oh yeah, that was that uh, one dude. All right, that was that was a quick ride right there. I like that. Two bucks. Yeah, that was worth about two bucks because I picked him up, got him home real quick. That was easy. Uh. I can't remember his name. Now, I think that was the dude that was talking about. Then I got the $5 one before that. Cool. 264 This was the one where I gave them the quick ride. Hopefully they, like I said, I want to talk to them again. These people were pretty cool. Uh, Kelsey and her husband, they were pretty cool. They were hilarious. Like I said, real good energy people. Good. They were so happy. Good energy people. But definitely this night is kind of going. Let me see where I got. I got eight more to go. And that's it. Eight more rides. Let's see how much money Lyft is making now. Like I said, Liv was making like $47. Let's see how much they making now. 54. So those rides, they end up, they end up getting like $6 and some change off of those next rides. So they're, they're running around about $3. Uh, where are we going? Eight miles for six bucks. Let's do it. I'm already going south anyways, but I'm not going that way. I'm going to keep going south this way. I'm just going to have to get to him another way. Montebello, no, I'm not taking right there. I'm gonna have to hit him at this major light up here. Cause like I said, I'm not, yeah, there we go, Missouri. I'll take Missouri over. Cause I'm not about to start snaking through people's neighborhoods and shit like that. But looks like Lyft is making about $3 a ride off of me right now, three bucks a ride. They've gotta make at least four to break even. They're only making $3 a ride. This ride, they'll probably make, like I said, they were just at 57. After this ride, they might be at, I would say 61. I'm going to take a wild guess and say they're at 61 because they're going to make like four bucks on this ride. Easily four or five dollars. We'll see. They got me doing some crazy shit. They got me doing all this, so I'm going to end up canceling this ride right now because I'm not going to start going back north, south, all that shit. It's too much. Already it's too much. So they got to give me something that's a straight shot. I'm not doing no U-turns and horseshoes and all this shit just to get to somebody. Nah, I don't, I don't drive like that. So if they want to give me a ride, give me something that's a lot easier. I'm gonna take 16th Street South anyways. Well, let me sit in this parking lot right here, kind of regroup. Let me regroup real fucking quick, sit in this parking lot right here. 
Cause they, they doing some nutty shit right now. They're starting to irritate me with all this flip flopping and turning around and shit. So let me turn this off. Let's turn the car off real quick. All right, bet. Now let's see what exactly these idiots are gonna have me do. Cause like I said, let me scoot the seat up. KD was sitting in the front. Let me move this up real quick. Oh yeah. Sometimes people sit in the front seat. I don't care. Uh, all right. Now, I didn't want that ride anyway. It wasn't really striking me. I mean, it was cool. I mean, you got a dollar twenty-five surge down there, but it was just that to me that ride was just not all that. It was about you know nine miles, for like six bucks anyways. I could care less. Lyft was gonna make like four or five dollars off of that. They just I'm just not doing no north, south, east, west, running all the fuck around just to go south three miles. No, a lot of these uh, rides they're giving me just aren't. They're they're good but they're just not spectacular right now something like that see that's easy i could do that you know that's just straight north grab somebody and take them that's cool like i said the the shit they had me on a second ago that, that was a little too much it was like nine miles you know it was like fucking three miles to get to them and then i had to turn around and do some some crazy shit it was like it was too much man too much hold up my damn key let me get my key situated real quick There we go. Now we ready to rock and roll. Yeah, so I'm gonna go up here real quick, a half mile away, do this pick, and then I'll go. Like I said, I wasn't feeling no three mile drive any fucking way. It was three miles away to take somebody about another six miles. I just wasn't feeling that shit. So this is a lot easier for my for my sanity. You know what? I can go a half mile, pick up somebody, take them five miles. I like that. That's that's an easier drive for me. So let me pick up Alexia at the VIG. Oh, I know where that is. Oh, that's the little spot right there. I forgot about this. I'm up here by the VIG. I could just chill up here. Hell yeah. People do rides from here all night because nobody likes to drink and drive and everybody lives in the condos and apartments up here. Shh, I totally forgot about the VIG. We finna make a killing now. Guarantee I'll be back at the VIG in about 10, 15 minutes. That was a pretty quick ride. Camel back. I'm headed to the center of my circle because I don't want to get out of my circle. So I'm gonna head back over here. Like I said, I've been using the hell out of this filter. This shit's cool. Love this little filter. Been jamming with it, jamming with it. All right, so let me get up here. I'm gonna find me another gas station to hang out at. See if I can get me another, you know, quick little ride like that. What is that over there? Oh, that's a Filiberto's. I want to hang out there. Let's see if I can get up here and find somewhere to kick back. I didn't eat dinner again tonight, man. I got a, but I brought a couple of snacks. That's cool. Oh, let's go over here real quick. All right. This is a little Popeye's parking lot right here. I ain't eating at no fucking Popeye's. They be taking forever. But they red beans and rice be on point. Shit, I like that red beans and rice. So let me sit over here real quick. See if they can actually get me some, uh, ride over here let me pull up about here yeah see if they can get me a ride because i'm not gonna get nothing to eat but i'm gonna keep this little place on on you know on speed dial because this motherfucker might be something good to eat okay so that was that ride right there i just ended you know that was about shit six miles no that was about no because it was about a half mile up yeah, it was about six miles. Okay, about six miles for almost six bucks. That's cool. That's cool. Been online for two hours. Cherry picking the shit out of everything. Uh, I'm at 3.40 and nine hours, 340 bucks. I need to hit this shit. Where are we at? 57.42. Wait a minute. Wasn't they just at $57? You telling me they made 42 cents on that last ride? Because they was at $57 even. And you telling me they made 42 cents on that last ride. I don't know, man. I don't know. Because they got... Because I'm at 13 right now. I'm at 13 out of 20. So seven more rides, I get $90 out of seven more rides. And so they're, 40, they're $43 off. So they've got to get at least $6 a ride. Shit to break even. They've got to get at least $6 a ride just to break even. They're going to be in a hole. I thought they'd lose like maybe a dollar or two dollars. They might be in a hole like shit. Thirteen, fourteen dollars by the time we done. It might be negative thirteen, fourteen dollars. 
We better figure that shit out, man. If y'all need a fucking accountant, Liv, hit me up, man. I'll do contract work for you motherfuckers while I'm out driving sometimes. I'll give y'all a phone call and tell y'all what to do. Because whoever y'all hiring is y'all accountants and y'all financial managers, these motherfuckers don't know math. Half of them probably use a fucking calculator just to calculate their own goddamn birthday. If y'all need motherfuckers to help, I'm telling you right now, I know numbers. I'm an old school accountant, casino, I do this shit. I'll send you motherfuckers my resume. I'll still drive and make my money because y'all ain't going to pay me like what I can make doing this shit. But I can help you out, Liv, because I don't know how you motherfuckers are making money for these investors without doing shit the right way. We could do better. Y'all can make money. I can make money. Everybody can win. Ooh, it's $1.50 over there. So I'm going to go and get this fucking money. But I'm going to tell y'all motherfuckers right now, Liv, get your shit together. Whoever y'all got in your accounting department probably need to be fucking fired. And y'all need to hit me up. Sir, for real, this shit's crazy. <laughs> fucking nuts okay i'm gonna leave this motherfucking popeye's chicken lot i'm gonna see if i can get over here and pick up this surge for a dollar fifty it's not that far like i said it's like maybe one two three blocks and that's what they do that's why i like to use last ride because these motherfuckers will plop you right next to a surge give you a ride with no surge and you be like a block away i'm like dude if they're that close you got to get a driver to surge. I mean, they're a block away. You got to have some type of fucking leniency. Say, okay, if we have a surge ending at 7th Street, we'll give it to everybody up to 12th Street. We'll give you fucking like, you know, five more city blocks. Because the shit they be pulling sometimes irritates the hell out of me. I'm like, dude, y'all be making people drive, you know, three, four fucking blocks just to get the surge. That shit's crazy. It's like, man, so I'm going to cruise down here real quick, plop down get the surge and I'm just gonna sit over there anyways and that's like the dead center of my little radar a little filter I'm, I'm gonna rename that to the uh, instead of calling it the area filter that's called that's for that's for, just for the driven dad I'm gonna call it my driven destination this is my driven destination filter motherfucker it's like I ain't going nowhere I'm staying all within this all my destinations have to be within this that's my driven destination it's like you use the area filter no nah, man I use driven destination What's driven destination? Ah, oh, they took my fucking surge, you motherfucker. Oh, they'll bring it back. I see what they doing. They'll bring it back. Watch. It's, it's going to probably come back a little bit higher. They probably said, okay, we got two or three rides out of that surge. Nobody's showing up except Jeff. And his ass is breaking us every fucking week. Because y'all got bad accountants, I'm telling y'all. Bad financial managers. People who don't know how to do math. I swear to God. This shit is just two plus two level shit. These motherfuckers can't add for nothing. Like y'all can make money, but when you paying investors, I mean, when you paying all these people, where we at? Fuck it, let's do it. It's almost six miles for five bucks, let's do it. Cause I only need a few more rides. And that's why they didn't give me the surge cause they knew I was coming over to get this shit. That's why they didn't give me the surge. Cause I would've had an extra dollar fifty on that. These little slick motherfuckers, see, I should've turned it on Lux, but I didn't. Lesson learned. Even though I got area filter on, I need to start using Lux. All right, I'm gonna get on 7th Ave, head down 7th Ave, bet. Let's go, let's go. Finally down here in the surge. There you go, baby. And I'm still in my little, my little driven destination. So let me see how how am I doing over here? Yeah, still got two tips. Man, ain't nobody tipping tonight. That's cool, because I'm gonna get this money off y'all ass anyways. Y'all ain't gotta tip me. I'ma get it. Liv is probably keeping all my tips. They don't want to pay me because they like, man, he finna hit this shit and rob us. Let's see, because they were at 5744. Let's see where they are now. 60 so they made like two dollars off that they made about two bucks off that last ride all right let's see let's see where we going and that was a quick 564 straight down the thing like i said hopefully these people start tipping because without me seeing tips whoo man i'm gonna be not taking a lot of these rides later but only need six more rides to go that's what i'm talking about six more rides and I'm cool, and I'm cool. Something about the atmosphere. Atmosphere parking lot. All right, so I'm gonna park my ass right here because I don't like to just drive around aimlessly. Oh, motherfucker, I just parked. Let's go. Let's go, Candy. Damn it, I just parked. That's cool. 
I'll cruise over here and pick you up real quick. Then I'm going to come back. Now that I find me a little parking spot, this is where I'm going to be, right here. Let me go get Kendi real quick. I'll hit y'all up in a second. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, that was a pretty quick trip. That was Kendi. Let's see. That was, you know, that with the dollar seventy-five on there. Now let's go see how much Lyft is actually making. Let's go back in here again. They are now at sixty-two sixty-six. Does that mean they lost money? I can't remember what they said the last time, but that's what it was. Sixty-two sixty-six now. So let's just say sixty-three dollars. Okay, sixty-three bucks. We're gonna see after the next ride how much this lift estimated fee is because right now they've got to make what $38 they've got to they've got to make at least $38 to break even $38 and how many rides have they got left we've got five rides so we need to average at least <laughs> minimum seven dollars and some change per ride seven and change for the next five rides they got to average at least seven dollars and some change or they're not going to break even they're going to be short I estimated $12 short to third like 12 to 14 dollars short. I think it'll be negative 12 to 14. I'm gonna leave my guess at that. I don't know what it's gonna be. I'll probably be surprised. I don't know, but I'm gonna leave it at negative 12 to negative 14 dollars is what I think they're gonna end up at by the time I hit this $90 challenge. When I hit that $90 challenge, they're gonna be pissed off. <laughs> Cause I'm doing nothing but short rides. They can't really make a lot of money. I'm doing nothing but short rides. So it's like, shit, I'm not making money. They not making money. We're all having fun. That's how we doing it. We living that broke life, baby. Broke lift life. BLL, broke lift life, shit. They wanna play that game and take my lucks off. We gonna live the BLL, baby. Broke lift life. And hopefully, like I said, this weekend, they give me some challenges or something. Cause if they don't, I'ma have to go over to Uber Eats, something like that. Cause I'm not doing no Uber X and no fucking Lyft like basic unless it's like they got a lot of surge going on the streaks going on but i ain't doing no basic shit without money at it i'm cool on that shit yep so now i'm on seven street i'm about to hit roosevelt so i'm gonna go over here and this circle k it's where king james be always hanging out too so maybe i'll pull up and see king james over there last time i caught him at the circle k over on what was it 44th 44th and van buren i caught his ass over there and i was getting a ride as soon as i was pulling out he was like jay watts i was like oh shit man i'm i just got a ride man didn't even see you over here getting gas ain't that some shit we always be hanging at the same spots you know what i'm saying because that's how we know where the rides are going to be we kind of chill and relax so yeah let's let these cars go now i'm going first y'all can y'all can wait after me yeah i don't see where everybody is but shit, I still got, damn, I almost got a full tank of gas. I've been driving all day. Like I said, I filled up, what, last night? Damn. And I only did, what, nine rides today? Something like that? I filled up last night. I only did nine rides today. I'm going to have to show y'all a video of where my gas hand is. Because like I said, this fucking gas hand don't move. I swear. Because all I'm doing is short fucking rides. So let me show y'all my gas hand. That's my gas hand right there. It's almost on full. 307 miles left till empty. I'm almost on full. I've been driving all night, and that's as far as my gas moved from last night when I filled up. Okay, just dropped off David. Let me take a look at some numbers because I haven't seen what was going on in a while. Um, still got two tips. That's it. Nobody's tipping tonight, man. I guess that's the kind of night it is. A bunch of cheap motherfuckers. That's why I like the other area I was in. This area, I don't normally drive. So, I'm just kind of checking this shit out. Learn my lesson. Don't spend so much time in this area, but it's cool because I need to know this kind of shit. And I, what I'll end up doing is, you know, next time I got to do a whole lot of short rides, this is a good area to do a lot of short rides in. So like I said, these all, like that trip, I was right down the street from him, picked him up. So that's about six miles for six bucks. Then here, these two ladies were downtown, four miles, four bucks. That's when I was at the gas station and I went around a corner and there they were right there. So that was them real quick. And then that was that ride. You know, where was that at? Oh, yeah, I had to take them up to that little club up there. All right, and then now let's see how Lyft is doing. They were at, what, 67, 70 bucks. They made $3 so far. All they need to make is $20. They got to make 20 bucks. They have to make 
in the next, or $30 in the next, uh, 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 three rides. They got three rides to do it. Liv, y'all better get y'all shit together. Because right now, $90. Y'all got to make 20 bucks. Somehow, y'all got to make 20 bucks. And that ain't helping you get there. Wait a minute, where is this at? Let's go try this real quick. Let's see the Guan. We have Fashion Park, Captain Grill. We got to go here and there. All right, so this is how we're going to do this trip. We're going to go up there. If the stop is taking too long, then we're out of there. After this ride, I got two more rides, and I can get my ass off the road and out of here. Like I said, I gave myself till 2 a.m. I'll be done before 2 a.m. So I'm just doing all these little quick rides just to be done, get my 90 bucks, get my ass home so I can relax a little bit. So I want to see if we got any challenges coming out Friday and all that shit. If we don't have any challenges this weekend, we have nothing going on this weekend. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I will not be driving because I, I don't drive this shit for cheap. Nope, nope, nope. Like all these little cheap ass rides. If I, don't, if I wasn't getting that $90 tonight, I wouldn't be doing this kind of shit. Trust me. Goddamn four dollar rides with stops, shit. I wouldn't even be coming close to doing it, especially with these nine tipping motherfuckers. I got two tips all night. Yeah, these are the kind of rides I don't fuck with. So Uber and Lyft is lucky, and maybe these motherfuckers are keeping my tips because they know I got they gotta pay this ninety dollars. People could be tipping me all night for all I know, and they like you know what? Hold his fucking tips and just give it to him as a bonus. Cause these motherfuckers, this is crazy how I go from a night like last night, crazy tips to a night like tonight, ain't nobody tipping. Like I said, that's how these apps are, man. They're a bunch of sketchy motherfuckers working there. Y'all know it and I know it. It ain't no fucking secret. They've been, they've been charged with that shit before and they got a whole nother place now doing their payments and shit. So they probably doing the same thing. Stripe's probably doing the same shit. Oh, man, we just hold the tip. Just hold the money. Act like we gonna give it to them. Who the fuck knows? All these motherfuckers are rip-offs. They all rip-offs. And so let's not pretend that they not. We know it. They know it. Shit, we just gotta start taking photographs of, of people's phones and shit, getting all of our tips photographed. So when they holding all our shit, don't even tell them. Don't even just hit they motherfucking ass with a goddamn lawsuit saying y'all been stealing from me for six months and I got photographs of all the tips I had, all the customer payments, and the fact that y'all haven't given me none of these tips in six months. Hit they ass with a book like that. There is no oh well, it was a glitch. You can't have six months worth of a glitch and not know what the fuck is going on. If you have a weekend of a glitch, that's one thing. But six months of a fucking glitch of tips? Yeah, no, that's theft, motherfucker, that's theft. So I say everybody should be logging all of this shit, taking pictures of people's phones, making sure you know what these customers paying, you know, documenting the fact that you ain't getting tips. Like, I got all this shit on documents. Motherfuckers gonna look at all my videos and see I ain't been getting tips. And now when I go, when customers be like, oh man, I tip you that day. I'm like, well, I don't have proof of you tipping me that day. As soon as I pull up the video, they're going to see this shit saying no tip. And they're going to be like, dude, look on my phone. I tip you $25. Log it. Log it. And once I log that shit, oh, trust me. Hold up. It's just loud as motherfucker. And once I log that shit, oh, trust me. They're going to be like, uh, this motherfucker got six months worth of data showing us stealing his tips. Because he's giving all of these people his business card. And all of these motherfuckers is on his YouTube channel. And they all are seeing their rides on his YouTube channel with no tips on his fucking YouTube channel. Okay, we just got fucking caught. We got caught by a fucking YouTuber. Just like the state of California got caught by fucking Sergio and Pablo. Sometimes all it takes is for a motherfucker to start going through shit. That's all it takes. Start going through shit, uncovering shit, and motherfuckers gonna be sitting in the hot seat. And trust me, you hold my tips, all motherfucking ain't no, hey, here you go, you can have them back. Fuck that, I want interest, punitive damages, I want court fees, court costs, attorney's fees, motherfucking bottle water fees for me drinking motherfucking bottle water in court i want all that shit i'm coming for everything you fucking steal from me i'm coming for you fuck that shit hey kwan was pretty cool that was a young brother right there and the thing about him he when he was 24 years old he got involved in restaurant management and he's still young i mean he's probably not even 30 yet and this dude he's opened up a couple of capital grills manage them and everything else like that the, the kid knows his shit. He knows his shit. I told him, I said, dude, you on the right path. While most of these dudes is out trying to, you know, fake ball, acting like they buying up the bar and buying drinks and shit like that, you just getting off work. You're the manager of a fucking, you know, nationwide, almost worldwide international company. You're a young manager. 
I was like, and when I was young, I was a young executive, I did the same thing, which is why I was able to retire at 38 years old from corporate America with a good chunk of change and was able to live my life as long as I pretended I didn't have that money. I didn't let a lot of people know I had that money. Hold up, let me see. Okay, that was his ride right there. Pretty easy, I was right up the road, picked him up, shot over. I mean, these rides are all quick, all quick. And let's see how much did, uh, let's see what Lyft is doing. How, 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 how is Lyft making out over here? $72, all right, 72 bucks. Yeah, I don't know, man. They gotta make $18 now, they gotta make 18 bucks. And I'm, I'm about to hit that, I, mean, I still got, what, three tips? What, who, somebody tipped me? Who the fuck tipped me? Who the fuck tipped me? Right here, bam, $5. Five dollars, five D O L L A S. Five dollars. That's what's up. Shit. All right, hold up for a second. Let me go back in here. I'm gonna see how many rides I need to go. Oh, two more rides. You know what? I should take two nature hikes just so lift can balance out to zero. I should take like a 20 mile ride or something like that for like twelve dollars so they can get paid, and then take another one. That way they balance out to zero just to fuck with them. Let them know I know what they doing. They'd be like, I think he's fucking with us. Actually, I'm not fucking with y'all. I'm gonna go back and get this ride and make this money. Boop. All right, cool. Damn, he's behind me. Fucking Fonzo, you motherfucker. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go straight and I'm gonna U-turn. Fuck this shit. Like I said, I'm gonna go straight and I'm gonna U-turn. Oh, I like these little apartments right here. Oh, perfect timing, you little motherfuckers. This shit is sweet. Look at that shit. I could just swing right here because the apartment was right in the fucking way. I'm going to go right back through the light I just came through. Them apartments came up in perfect time, baby. Because right there, that was a little spot I had to... Because I wouldn't have been able to do a U-turn on this narrow-ass street. There's some apartments that's sitting right across the street from Circle K. And I just turn up in their driveway and back out real quick. Tell you, sometimes it's 11-11, man. It's, it's just aligning with the fucking universe and doing shit the right way. Appreciate how shit works out sometimes. Let me go pick up Alonzo's motherfucking ass. Then I got one more trip and then I'm headed to the house. And Lip is going to be negative. Like I said, anywhere between negative $12 and $14. That's what I think. If, if, they, if they're worse off, shit is not my problem. But I think I'm thinking negative $12 to negative $14. I'm sticking with that. Okay, this is some cool shit. One more ride to go and I'm done. That was Lonzo. Like I said, I had three tips. Still got three fucking tips. Where are they at? Let's see. Let's see. They're at negative. I mean, they're at seventy-three dollars. So they they need seventeen more dollars. Seventeen more dollars is what they need. They get seventeen dollars that last ride. Yeah. Look at that. Ten hours thirty-seven. So ten hours thirty. I'm at thirty-seven dollars an hour. When I hit this fucking flip, that's gonna be forty dollars an hour. The next flip is forty bucks an hour. But look at that shit. $73. As soon as they hit that 90, man. Like I said, they might be 14, 12 to 14 dollars in the hole. That's my guess. 12 to 14 in the hole after this next fucking ride. Let's see what they do. Because I'm interested in how they're gonna keep losing money every goddamn week. This goddamn black cat was walking slow across the street in front of my car. And people say you shouldn't cross the path of a black cat. You know what? I had a black cat named Onyx when I was a kid. I found it was a stray cat and it was a kitten. So I took Onyx home and Onyx lived with us for a long time. That little stray cat loved us. That cat wouldn't go nowhere. But now that I'm older, I see black cats all the time. Man, if I didn't have dogs, I'd probably have a black cat. Dead serious, I would have a black cat. Cause I don't know what it is. They're so fucking shiny. They're the coolest cats. I love black cats. They're like shiny with big yellow eyes. And it's like, man. They just kind of hang out and do nothing. And that was Onyx. All right, let's go to the west a little bit. I forgot they got a 24 hour auto zone over here. Totally forgot about that. All right, so hopefully I get a ride within the next five minutes. Cause remember I said I was gonna drive till about two o'clock in the morning. Shit, I'm two hours ahead of schedule right now. Two hours ahead of schedule. So hopefully, yeah, I'm not going south. Look at all the damn drivers at the airport. It's midnight. Look at all these people. 10, 16 drivers over there. Man, that's crazy. 
the queue is six minutes away. Look at that, 35 flights coming in. But man, look at all this shit. That's nuts. And then, wait a minute, so the other one over here, how we looking over there? Man, that's how bad shit is. Uh, okay, let's do that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Emma, damn it. Emma's at the hospital. She better be a nurse, I swear to God. If Emma's got a broken leg, man, Emma, you riding in the trunk. I'm gonna ride you in the trunk with your leg hanging out the back and I'm gonna go real slow with the hazard lights on. Shit. You better not have a broken leg, Emma. You better be a nurse getting off work, I swear to God. Cause I swear it'd be some decrepit motherfuckers walking about these hospitals and I'd be like, dude, you need to be like in an infirmary or some shit. You walking out this motherfucker still with the hospital gown on with the back wide open, with your motherfucking ass hanging out looking for a ride. And I'm like, man, I don't know. This, this is not that type, this is not a fucking ambulance, dog. This is really not. So, let's go pick up Emma real quick, shoot up the highway, this is my last ride, and when I hit this 90, they're going to be negative 12 to $14 in the hole, let's see. I just dropped off Emma, and her boss broke her ankle, it wasn't her that broke her ankle, it was her boss that did it. I think I kind of talked that into like, fruition, but that was my last ride, I got that 90 bucks, there it is, bam, $90. Four hours, $171 in four hours of being on the road today because I knew I was going to get it. I did 14 rides, exactly what I needed to do to get that money. Let's see how much money Lyft lost. $12 to $14 in a hole. What did it got? What did it got? $14.70. Oh, I called that shit. How long ago did I call it? You got to go look at the video for the timestamp because I said they was going to be $12 to $14 in the fucking hole by the time we finished. <laughs> I even said that shit earlier. because I was like, I need to change my estimate because these motherfuckers is not making no money. They ain't making, I wasn't doing rides. I was adding up enough. I'm an accountant. I know how money works. I know how fast things calculate. So when I was like 12 to 14 in the hole, 1470, that's fucking close enough for me. I think, you know, Lyft, y'all need to get y'all shit together. Hit me up. I'm at 10 hours, 467, 10 and a half hours. Damn near $45 a fucking hour, man. That's close. That's pretty close to $45 an hour. That's not bad. Really, it's not. But I'm done because I said I was going to get myself till 2 o'clock in the morning to do this shit. It just turned midnight. I'm two hours ahead of schedule. So, I guess sometimes you run a little early, sometimes you run a little late. $171. I'm going to cash that shit out because. I don't want to leave my shit in there. Confirm my deposit. All right. So there we go. I'm done for the night. Uh, I'll look and see for the week. Look at that $22 ride. I ain't worried about that shit. I'm done for the night. Let's see if they got me any challenges this week or something. I don't think I got any challenges. Streaks. No, I got $18 worth of streaks tomorrow. I ain't got no challenges this week. None. Well, I guess I won't be driving this weekend. Because if I ain't got no challenges tonight, man, I'm not doing no motherfucking short rides all night. Look at $11 request. They ain't been matched. Motherfucker, I'm done for the night. I don't know what to tell you. And that's how much gas I used. I filled up last night. I was at the top. I'm not even at three quarters of a tank. Made $171 in one day with bonuses, challenges, tips. Hopefully more tips come through. But I use maybe a quarter of a tank of gas, a quarter of a tank, a little more than a quarter of a tank. I made almost $200 because of the shit that was offered on Lyft. Now, if I could make $200 every quarter of a tank, man, what is that? $1,600 for a full tank? Yep, $1,600 for a full tank of gas. And it cost me like 70 bucks for this tank. That was it. So 70 bucks for the tank. I could make $1,600 for the full tank if they kept giving me them same fucking challenges and shit like that. But we know that ain't always possible.